You're watching GM6 Drone Mapping. And if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, then you've probably noticed a few videos on PIX4D. Well, because of that, I thought I would do a few videos on Agisoft PhotoScan, or Metashape. Well, today I'm going to do a brief overview of how to create and export an orthomosaic. All right, without wasting any more time, let's head on over to the GM6 Learning Center and get started. And by GM6 Learning Center, I mean I'm going to walk around the other side of my desk and get on my computer. All right, so I'm here in Agisoft, and I'm in the uh, dark view. They have three different options, dark, light, and classic view. So that's why mine looks like this. The first thing I want to do is add all of my images. So I'll select all, and then I just like to drag them and drop them in there. If the images are geotagged, then you can see them just by clicking on the camera icon here at the top. If your images don't have geotags, then you won't be able to see them. It'll look like this until after you run the first step and it generates a sparse point cloud. Everything that I'm going to do today will be in the workflow tab. So I'll come down to align photos and I'll just choose the default settings and click OK. That'll take a few minutes, but once that's done, then we'll take a look at it and move on to the next step. Now that it's completed step one, you can see all the images here at the top and your sparse point cloud at the bottom. I'll turn off the camera and then you can see the box around here. This is called the bounding box and you can adjust it or you can just simply move the orthomosaic by grabbing it with the mouse and turning it. This area here looks like it hasn't generated anything because it was a dense area of trees so it will start to come out more in the dense point cloud and then again it'll show up completely in the orthomosaic so it's normal it's nothing to worry about right now so next i'll go back up to workflow i'll go down here to build dense cloud and then again default setting is medium and then I'll click OK, and once it's finished producing the dense point cloud, we'll take a look at that and then move on to the final step. All right, here's the dense point cloud. Now that it's finished creating it, we'll take a look. And as you can see, it looks really good, almost looks like a picture. I can see my ground control point targets down there. And then as you get closer, of course, you can tell that it's just the dense point cloud. And of course, you can see the trees are starting to fill in real nice. All right, so almost finished. We'll go back up here to workflow. Go down to build DEM, it's your digital elevation model. And then I'll produce the DEM. And once I click OK, the DEM should only take a few seconds 10, 15 at the most. Of course, it depends on the size of your project, but the DEM is the quickest part of the whole process. So once that's complete, we'll come back, look at that, and then start the orthomosaic. All right, now that the DEM has finished processing, come down here to the bottom where it says Workspace and Reference. Click on Workspace tab, and you can see every step of your project is right here. So I'll just double click on the DEM and then it'll show the DEM view. From here, I'll go back up to workflow, go down to build orthomosaic. I did not use mesh in this project because I don't need it to make my orthomosaic. So it's going to build it from the DEM. If I had used mesh, then I could change this to mesh, but the recommended method for creating your orthomosaic is by using your DEM. All right, so that'll take a few more minutes. It'll create the orthomosaic, and once that's complete, I'll be back, we'll take a look at that, and then I'll show you how to export your orthomosaic. All right, now the orthomosaic is complete, so I'll double click that, and as you can see, the trees filled in real nice. Everything looks normal and like a picture which is what it should look like. 
The last thing to show here is how to export it. Right click on ortho and then I'll come here to export ortho mosaic and then click on the file type that you want. The most widely used file type is going to be the TIFF. You click on that and then you just export it and put it wherever you need it. All right, that's it. I hope this was helpful. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already and share this video and keep an eye out. I'm going to post a few more of these and we'll get a little more in depth each time.